welcome back YouTube to to UK and uh, today we're going to be attempting to install the Fenra Saturn ODE drive um, these were released late last year um, limited numbers I do believe they've recently um, restocked obviously blaming I'm thinking of anything on, on COVID and God knows what else. So we, uh, yeah, we went out and bought one. And um, we're going to try and install it and see what happens, basically. So what I have got along with that is a uh, 256 gig uh, micro SD card. And this proved somewhat tricky. It's a 3D mount. Because, as you know, with a lot of these ODE drives, or maybe you don't. Um, once the CD comes out, there is a big void. So this is almost like a void filler. And it comes with this cable. To be honest, this comes from Etsy and it's a bit shit. I'm not going to lie, it, it costs far too much money for what it is. And I think there's a bit missing of it as well, which I've messaged the seller. But to be honest, you don't really need this for it to work. Because um, it just sits in the base anyway. Um, but I haven't opened this, I haven't done anything with this one yet. Because I've got a smaller one. So instead of like trying to load this all up and taking God knows how long to do it and it doesn't work, I've just got a smaller um, card that I'll hopefully attempt to <coughs> to use. So apparently this is all soldless. It's meant to be a piece of piss. A uh, bit like the Dreamcast one, maybe. So we're going to give it a whirl. Um, this one I did um, mod myself very crudely, but it does work. So, uh, you know, with the Saturn, you just take the screws out. It's, this is not rocket science. There isn't a great deal to the Saturn. Um, to be honest, so we'll speed through this bit just with a Phillips screwdriver. Hopefully, you can see. Uh, the beauty, <clears throat> the beauty of this o ODE one again, pretty similar to the, like the Dreamcast and stuff, <clears throat> is. Obviously, it allows you to play ISOs, bin, Q, <clears throat> whatever format they might come in. Uh, but along with that, it's the translations, the translation patches for some of the RPGs and, and improvements. There's improvements to games as well. Um, <clears throat> I've got one for uh, Dracula X. Um, there's couple of others I can't think of the top of my head now. I have downloaded them. It basically improves the games. Are these screws coming out or not today? Ah, just that one there. There we go. Slippery little buggers. So yeah, off it comes, and uh, there's your Saturn. So essentially what we're doing is removing the CD housing unit. Um, the Fenra, the actual ODE itself, God, this needs a clean. Not a very big board at all. This now supports 20 and 21 pin. It's called the Fenra Duo, so it will support both, um, as you can see here. And there's your micro SD. So the good thing about the uh, the flex cable I've got, it converts it from micro to, to full SD, uh, which is slots in nicer. So I don't really know what I'm looking at here, to be honest, at the minute. I don't know what these holes line up to. I don't know how it fixes. There doesn't seem to be any screws or screwing anything in. So I don't really know. Obviously, here's said ribbon cable. There's the power. And I think you basically just transpose... You're transposing those into the <clears throat> into the Fenra there, so we'll, uh, we'll we'll crack on and see what we can see. I think this is just a pull up. I don't think there's any um, any locking tab on it. No, it just pulls up. He pulls up. Um, Now, 
And then we've got what looks like a grounding strap, perhaps. Right, bear with me because I've got to get a screwdriver. Yeah, just need a smaller uh, jeweler. So at the minute, it's literally a Phillips and a smaller Phillips um, jeweler screw. And as you drive out the way, now, where and how this fits in, I have no idea. Uh, we don't need this. I think this is just a securing bracket, to be honest. But what I will do, I think, is put this back. On there. And we'll put this back on. I'll put that back on there as well, <clears throat> just to keep it all in one piece. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's go around that way. Okay, so it sits. Mine looks to be a 21 pin. It doesn't go over it. Um, kind of like it's a little bit wobbly. Um, I'm not really sure about that. Does this housing help at all? What does this do? this no it doesn't do anything it's rubbish I'm not I'm not liking that it's not very um, secure I think this just sits in the lid I think that might be for the uh, the mode <clears throat> I think it's like an all-in-one one all-in-one all dealio um, I just don't like the way that just sits there floating. Unless, unless I'm missing a trick here. Uh, let's get the old lid. The old skid. The old skid lid. So, I do believe this just... I'm doing all this off camera, I just realise. It's because I haven't got a very good the old angle. That's what it sits like. Uh, I suppose the argument is you're not really going to touch it, but I don't. It just seems very flimsy and it's just wedged in. It's wedged in with no support. Um, and as I say, the, uh, the problem with this extension lead. Although it fits on, there's actually no way to um, secure it across there. And I've messaged the guy still saying, look, there's obviously some screws missing here because that needs to be secured in. But not only that, this just doesn't, to me, doesn't feel like it's uh, sat right Why he knocks the bloody thingy off. Yeah, if you do cock up <laughs> the hinge, which is what I did, that's how it's meant to go. After several, lots of effort in jeffing, put it back in. But yeah, the pin tucks into the second hole. Um, and the second groove there, and that goes over the top there. But um, back to this bloody thing, yeah, I'm not convinced. It's, it's literally just wedged in. Um, as you can see already, it's, it kind of pops out, look. It took far too long to come as well. So anyway, look, the crux of it is 
what we've got here, um, which is the main thing anyway. And I say it's there's not a great deal to it, as you can sort of see. But it just it sort of just sits on these two pins. Unless I have completely missed a trick somewhere. Um, I mean, just take these out. Is that what it does? Take them out and you sit on top of them, or does it sit lower down? I don't know. I'll have to have a look. All right. So all, all we've done basically, guys, is um, <clears throat> plugged in the little extension into the uh, micro SD. We've then got this slot here, <clears throat> and uh, with your little micro SD card into a full SD adapter, and we just slot that in. Voila. Obviously, the, the point that that sort of sits up inside the CD bay, which yeah, we'll, we'll deal with that at another point. Um, so yeah, I think what I'll do is um, rearrange all this, clean this all up, and um, get it set up onto the old uh, the old TV there. Right, moment of truth. Give us some juice. No, oh, it's, it's not broke. <laughs> Let's see if it does anything. The lights on the Fenra, I can see that. Oh, there we go. So, as you can see, I've got Hyper Jewel there. <clears throat> I've created a directory called test, which I've obviously just stuck other stuff in there. Now there should have been another file in the root of this, which is interesting, so it's not seeing that one. In test, no, did I just press A? Oh, hang on. Ah, I did plug that in. Oh, okay, so this is Cotton 2, which was in that directory. Uh, it's been fan translated. So that's interesting. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, so maybe if there's another file within that directory, it'll probably load it. But yeah. All run off the SD card, guys. I'll just show you. It's working. It's just a little bit... I don't know. I don't like the... The fact that it's a bit wibbly-wobbly. Um, I'm going to have to have a look at that to see if there's a better way to secure it. There's got to be. It can't stay like that. That's just ridiculous. But yeah, it's uh, running like a dream, as they say. Uh, I'll have to, uh, um, again, maybe one of the other files that I had was probably in the wrong format. Um, BIMQ, ISOs usually work, but um, I don't know how you get back. Is it all three buttons? to go old school there's probably a way to get back i haven't fucking read like i don't, I'm a bug. I don't read instructions let's just try hyper jewel it's a bit weird that i couldn't go into that subfolder though um yeah i'll have, have a look at that but again like i said i've literally put a handful of games on this well i, I did put three on um ace to launch See, that's, that sounds a bit, but within test is Cotton 2, so maybe it just realises there's only one file there. Options says, does that start? Ah. Enable cover off, return to menu on, backup eternal memory, restore backup system information. Okay, 
So there might be an upgrade as well to the um, to the firmware. I think you can just flash it with an SD card. To start is for the options. I don't know what enable cover. I'll have to have a look at it all. Um, Let's have a look at Hyperjewel. See what the, all the fuss is about. It's quiet. <laughs> Does look nice, doesn't it? A kid mood. So yeah, I've got all the shining forces and stuff like that all translated. Police notes all translated. Um, yeah, and I've got nearly enough the whole library downloaded. Um, mainly American because they run in 60 hertz. That does look really crisp. I'm not gonna fucking lie. Keith, Lisa, or Lloyd? Hey, he looks like Back to the Future. All right, Keith. Keith the thief. Yeah. Oh, is it about five hundred pound game? Maybe more. You know those people that sort of say I don't like ever drives. Yeah, not, you know I don't dislike them. We've got the place. Um, but equally, these ODEs, um, I think, really the way to go. Uh, so yeah. Happy enough with it, I just probably just need to tinker in terms of um, just how it's sitting and the installation. I'm not really happy about it. And obviously that sort of 3D printed sort of um, housing or mount. Yeah, it's not great, man. It's not great. Uh, that was off Etsy, by the way. So they were off Etsy, don't buy. I think there's only one on there. There was another one on eBay, but he was away at the time. Um, and I think it's, it is a, it's a definitely a different mount because you have to do something with um, the brackets. You have to sort of nip them down. So, but it sounds like it's more secure. Um, I'll have to have another think and have a look, guys. But um, yeah, I hope someone has found that interesting. You know, it's it's if I can do it, anybody can do it. Trust me. Uh, you can get these from Frenra Direct, which is what I did. Um, save yourself a ton of money from the resellers. Um, But yeah, about um, 110 quid, I think it was. When you've, you know, obviously it converts from I managed to own. jerry rig a bracket. <laughs> um, I can't remember what the bit of plastic off some of the Pringles lid, I think. So we've had to sort of uh, jerry rig that. Now, with this thing here, I had a little rethink. So I've kind of put it that way. So these pins kind of keep that fixed a little bit better um, still not convinced by it I think it's a very poor uh, bit of kit so don't buy the one off Etsy at all I, I will not recommend this guy uh, so the other thing is obviously to fit this bit I think it's got to go on to here I think that there's, there's a couple of holes again there's no screws been provided you can see a hole there I think it's got to be screwed into there um, so I'm gonna have to try and dig through me bits. That's why I always keep all the old shit. We've all got old shit like that. That's where I got these screws from. Um, but yeah, you shouldn't have to do this. Not with the money that's been paid for this. I'm not fucking happy whatsoever. So let me see if I can get that fixed into that and at least I'll have some of the semblance of um, half decent. All right. Couple of screws wedged in. It ain't moving. Um can't find my memory card now. Let's just see if this works. It ain't moving, so it's just not very good, guys. It's not very good. Let's uh, put it back together and see what it looks like. All right, she's in. Not good. Not good. Um, Kind of having to squeeze, push, 
press screw. Uh, it just doesn't fit right. It, to be honest, you could have done with just making that smaller, making it smaller and just screwing it on and it would just sit in that gap, like the Dreamcast one does. I don't get this design, it's very poor. But um, there we go. Um, I'll probably stick it all stick it all back together. I'll probably stick some of the games onto the memory card and maybe do a last little bit at the end. Okay, guys, so we're back. Um, Saturn's all put together. Put the one make this will be interesting because this has got um pseudo Saturn on it. We will be interested to see how it interacts with the Fenra. Um but yeah I'll basically put the 256 gig card loaded it all up. Ah it is booted to the pseudo Saturn okay that's interesting. Let's just do start game. No, no, it doesn't like it. We'll take that out then. I did wonder if it would uh, interfere with it. Okay, a bit of an update. So after I uh, done the test SD card, dug out the, the 256 gig one, the brand new one, loaded it all up, uh, you know, extracted all the zip files and all did all the um, the stuff that you do to build the actual card, like copy stuff over. It takes a long time. It does take a long time. Uh, even did some screenshots for it and stuff. And the thing didn't work. It didn't boot um, from the, the Fenra. And I, I had no idea why. So I started to remove um, some of the files, some of the games, essentially, in chunks. Um, and then started adding them back in again. And that seemed to work. So I think... I think what happened is at some point um, it could only have been one one game perhaps was probably corrupt in terms of the image because when I was extracting one or two because I mean there's like there's, there's hundreds hundreds and hundreds of games uh, and there were some errors but I just thought it wouldn't play the game so like with the Dreamcast one if you have a, a, a crap um, ISO file it just won't it, it doesn't load it right? it just boots you back out and I thought that the Fenra would do the same it, it it doesn't seem to do that I think it just doesn't load the, the memory card so I don't know if it does like a check if it does a check on the card first I, I don't know I don't really know what happened um, but it's working now thank god so I've put all the games back on um, you know a bit more selective as well to be honest um, I'm probably missing a couple I'll have to go over especially some some of the probably the the, the Japanese ones the exclusives and stuff but I've got the, the main big hitters on there. So I'll just show you. It's all been buttoned back up again. Um, can't use the um, the pseudo Saturn, the four meg memory. It doesn't like it. It boots to that. So I'll have to dig out my, um, my bog standard one. So that, that's a point to note. If anyone's putting the Fenra in, if you've got a pseudo Saturn, you know, the four meg card, uh, it, it doesn't work. It, it basically boots, it boots to that uh, and not to the Fenra i.e. this sort of thing so if you've got one of these that's been pseudo uh, Saturn modded it, it, it won't work well it'll work but the Fenrar won't work if that makes sense and that's what we're all about here so yeah I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you so when it doesn't work it doesn't even do that it, it literally just goes to a black screen and you get nothing um, I will say the sort of this loading screen or the, the sort of front end isn't isn't as nice as say the Dreamcast ones, the GDMU. But it's still probably early days for this anyway. Um, and obviously the screenshots that you use, there's like a picker, there's like a little tool you can do. Um, I mean, to be honest, most of them are sort of self-explanatory. You don't really need a great deal, but it's more for the sort of uh, the Japanese ones that you don't really know. Yeah, I'm missing a couple on some of these, but you get the general. I mean, like there's 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 you can see the bar moving on the left hand side there you know got the police noughts which is english translated which is quite nice um there's not many actually there's not many japanese games that have got a translation which i was really surprised about but yeah you get the, you get the general idea yeah um All the individual Sega ages. There's the Outrun one. Should we give Outrun a, a, a whiz? Oh. 
I mean, aside from the, 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 the sort of front end, it doesn't really matter because it's the games that it's all about. I mean, it does look fantastic running for the OSSC as well, I must admit. And it, yeah. Get ready. Here we go. I had we got gear. <laughs> How do you move up the gear? I'm stuck in low. Oh, that's weird. It uses one of the shoulder buttons, the six button pad. Okay. Well, yeah, and as you can see. It's perfect. Sounds and looks gorgeous. What more do you want? Um, I say I'm not long copied these over. So apparently you can do A, B, C and start and it takes you back to the menu. Takes you back to that. What the hell? Okay, I suppose inadvertently it takes you back. <laughs> it doesn't take you straight back to here, but okay, I'll give it the sort of a. Right, this this Dracula has been um, enhanced. I don't know if it says it on it. Does it say the. Uh, no. Apparently it's been enhanced. And I I think there was some some of the stuff was changed to English to make it easier. I think. Oh yeah, because you can be Richter and Maria, as well as Alucard. And those that don't realise, Alucard is Dracula. It's about backwards, forwards. Richter Belmont. I don't think I've ever played the Saturn version. I think the only really version I've actually played is the uh, PC Engine one, even though I've got um, Simpsons Night up there. Yeah, it looks and sounds fantastic, guys. that hear it So yeah, that's it guys, anyway, um, thoughts on the Fenrart, cracking bit of kit, honestly dead easy to install, be careful with the 3D uh, bracket that you get, don't buy the one that's on Etsy, I think there's only one there, the guy's an absolute douche, uh, overcharged and undelivered basically, uh, the thing's missing pieces as you're sort of seeing, but um, yeah, I, I can't 
stress it enough, it just begged the question now, what do I do with my uh, full UK PAL satin set? Um, but no, I'll, I'll, I'll be keeping that. But it just opened up the possibilities, like I say, for some of the translation, some of the weird and the wonderful, although there's not many uh, translated ones yet. Maybe there might be more now. Um, and yeah, it doesn't damage the satin. It, it's, it, yeah, you can reverse it quite easily. So, um, big thumbs up to me. Like I say, you can get it direct from Fenrir at the minute, at the, at the time of making this video. Um, I think it's about 110 quid, I think. Um, and like I said, it's a Fenrir duo, so it'll work on the 20 and 21 pin satins. So, uh, yeah, have at it. Be careful with the, um, with the ROM files that you get, uh, you know, don't be an idiot like me and, and load it all up straight away um, and spend hours doing it and then re only to realise it doesn't read the memory card. Um, probably load them up gradually, which is what I end up doing just alphabetically, essentially. Uh, all the A's, all the B's and just made sure it, it, it was reading the card as I went along and yeah, it's been fine. So uh, yeah, hope that's been useful for someone. Take it easy YouTube and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.